met with thousands of people paying their respects for Bishop Richard Garcia this week. The Diocese of Monterey is giving the community several opportunities to visit the bishop before his funeral on Thursday. For more, we go to Action News reporter Bianca Beltran. On this Sunday, the Diocese of Monterey is remembering the late Bishop Richard Garcia. What he brought to the diocese was his great love, his joy, and his hope for our parish and for the diocese and for our world. He was a, a big advocate for children and for families, especially migrant families. And he was very saddened by what was happening with our policies now. And so he was a, an advocate for the poor, he was an advocate for those without a voice. He was known to provide mass in the fields for farm workers and encourage the clergy to be out in the community. His family is Hispanic, and that he spoke, he spoke, you know, Spanish, you know, fluently, and uh, and so he was able to reach out to our Hispanic members of the diocese in a way that was, uh, you know, deep and profound and enduring and inviting, and that was a very special gift, of course, for us to have. He's going to be sorely and deeply missed. In the days leading up to his funeral, parishioners will get a chance to say goodbye. On Monday, his body will lie in repose in the San Carlos Cathedral in Monterey. Tuesday and Wednesday, visitation will take place at Madonna del Sasso Cathedral in Salinas with a funeral service on Thursday. The parish is expecting hundreds of visitors from far and wide, so there will be additional seating out here as well as at the school. We're expecting over 30 bishops. We have two cardinals coming. And I can't tell you how many priests, deacons, and lay people. We're setting over the school a tent for 500 people with a screen for overflow. So it's, uh, it will be, it'll be a moment of prayer, but a moment of remembrance of our beautiful bishop who gave us energy and his faith and his hope. Reporting in Salinas, Bianca Beltran, KSBW, Action News 8. Now here are those locations again. For the full schedule and live stream of the service, go to our website, ksbw.com.